episodes three, three, four, and five. <laughs> oh, uh, that's about as much sense as this series could make if you weren't paying attention. Yes. Um, so we obviously we reviewed episodes one and two, and we thought we'd rather than doing them episodically, we'd do a sort of little clutch. So just scrolling back, Matt, going mm -hmm. back to a, a little interesting fact for you about Matt Shackman, who's the director of this series. Yeah. And this is interesting because Maggie introduced me to this. He's one of the directors on It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh! Which kind of explains a tonal oh sort of thing. There's a sort of fizziness to it, oh, isn't that's there? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Danny that DeVito show so one. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Been, but he's I also, can kind of see that in the sitcom y bit of, yeah, of, of, yeah, of this might. show. Uh, he's also directed episodes of Game of Thrones and uh, one of my favourite series, Fargo, the TV oh. series Fargo, because it's held together with a really quite strong directorial yeah, 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 yeah. vision. I mean, yeah, it's just it hard when. You've got the whole it's, Marvel. Yeah, yeah, the whole superhero. Yeah, and you've got all the yeah. rules. I mean, there's a, that's one of the things about uh, superheroes. There's a lot, a lot of rules. rules. Yeah, yeah. MCU. Um, so episode three, which was called Now in Colour, this was the one where uh, Wanda's oh, pregnant. Yes. Oh, yeah, when, when she gives birth. When she gives yeah. birth. And we have Geraldine, the woman who's kind of, we discover is kind of essentially un undercover. Or oh, right, there, yeah. Or sword. Yeah, but we could sense at this point yeah. that she was, yeah. And in this episode, the first moment which you really liked where uh, Vision sensed there was something up was the neighbour, the guy sawing through Oh, yeah. Oh, that fence. was so weird, yeah. Wasn't that strange? And when they were also, um, those two characters were talking about how that, the character Geraldine. Geraldine didn't have like a house yeah, and yeah, yeah, something yeah, yeah. weird was up. So you were getting, I, I, I really like the way in which this series has kind of, because it's so artificial and we've yeah. all been kind of wondering and, and trying to second guess exactly what's going on. Mm. And what's been clever is, is that even within the programme, yeah. characters are questioning what's going what's on. What's going on, yeah. Which yeah. helps you feel, because I think the danger with a series like this to people is that perhaps it's so sort of complex and meta mm. and also working on so many levels. Do I have to have seen the Avengers? I tell you what, I do think having watched the Avengers helps a lot. Helps. <laughs> and also you get that frisson of excitement when certain things happen. Yeah. Because you yeah. go, ah, oh, they know it's them, them and it's her yeah, and yeah. it's him. Um, so yeah, that's the episode where, of course, Geraldine uh, helps Wanda deliver Tommy and Billy. Yeah, these, the twins. The two twins, the babies. My babies. Um, but then, of course, that episode, episode three, is most notable for the fact that then there's this sort of moment where of Wanda... Yeah. yeah, when, when um, Geraldine mentions that like her Pietro. brother that her brother was murdered by Ultron and yeah. she's like oh did you and know? Wanda suddenly and you're sort of I tell you what I think is quite amazing I, I don't know if anyone else is finding that I mean she's beautiful obviously but yeah um, Elizabeth Olsen I, I'm finding her this is almost like one of the most complicated parts to play yeah yeah because what she's playing isn't who she is yeah and yet it's so much an articulation of an emotion she's feeling. Yeah, no, it's a really complicated. Really complicated, thing. isn't it? Yeah. To kind of get your head around. And I have to say, Paul Bettany. He's so good in this. Oh my god! I mean, he's so good at the kind of like real, slowly realizing. The slow, the slow dawn. But he, because of course we came out of episode two with him doing that whole kind of you know disappearing act. Yeah. He was so in it, and then yeah. I just felt this sort of. He reminds me a bit of Chi Chi, our dog. Where oh, there's yeah. a little bit of confusion kicking in, and he keeps sort of looking around and kind of going. He's, okay, I'm still yeah. going to go with this, but I'm not 100%. Quite, yeah, 100% sure. So, yeah, so at the end of episode three, we have Wanda essentially Kicks. firing Geraldine or kicking Geraldine. Fires her out of what about whatever moment? it is. Yeah, that was, moment, I was quite like, I, I did laugh, but I was just a bit like, oh. <laughs> and then she literally sort of flies out of what essentially like is a, revealed to be a sort of bubble of energy. Yeah, that's surrounding That surrounds the, Westview. Yeah. And she really. lands in a field and then suddenly, it was the first moment, how did you feel about that? Where you're kind of like reminded. That there's an outside world. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that was, I, I, I wasn't sure about I, that. I was a bit risky. I was worried that as soon as we kind of introduce the outside world that it might lose it because even though with the first episode I felt a bit weird about the whole sitcom thing at this yes. point I was really like into it yeah and the idea of kind Being of coming out, out of, of the sitcom I'm was pleased a bit you weird. said that that's exactly how I felt and that's how I felt like with that with the end of episode three but yes. I think episode four well good point yeah well and it's we interesting that episode four is the title of the episode is we interrupt the program because it really is an oh yeah it is like an interrupt where we leave the yeah. sitcom don't yeah we? or we, yeah. we essentially we observe the sitcom from there as a, from yeah, the like a scientific experiment and also think, episode four starts with the oh lip, god of course it? well explain to us because of course you were sitting there this sat there, and i was, was sat guess, there. trying to guess everything she was riffing on the avenger i was like <laughs> what what 
What? Yeah. What? But what so, so Geraldine. The blips happen. Yeah. So it starts with like um, when the blip is ha has already happened, yeah, and now they're all coming back from, from the, blip. the blip. So all of the people that disappeared when have now, swim. yeah, have now come back. Um, which is in uh, Avengers Endgame. Yeah. That's when they all came That's right. Back. That's right. Um, and it kind of starts at that point, and Geraldine is one of the people that has come back from the blip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's come back to find out that her it's been like, what, two or three years, and her mum's dead. And yeah, it was a really so, goose pimply moment. Yeah, was, a lot of she was really good in that scene. She's a She's a really actress. good actress. She's a great actress. I believe that, everything she says. Yeah, absolutely. She lacks all of that sort of comic book kind yeah. of artificiality. Yeah. She's, She's in it, but she's, she's in it. real. Yeah. Well, like Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany, they're all mm. very good actors. Yeah, no, they are. So yeah, there's the blip. She sort of essentially comes back. There's the chaos and the carnage of, of, of that. Yeah, and then it kind of goes straight into kind of her work life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like what they what her now. Yeah, and so we, then we sort of, we come back to this kind of, it's sword, isn't it? The in, the, in, the organisation, yeah. which is not like, she, you've got shield, you've got sword, you know. Shield, sword. sword. And so they want to kind Have of, them. and basically they pull all these kind of experts in. Yeah. Like this wonderful character, this wonderful woman who's this kind of deadpan kind of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gum chewing sort of <laughs> smart ass, isn't yeah. she? Who's never seen anything like it, and they get all these old TV sets. Mm. I love the set design on it. Yeah, I me love too. the way in which it's kind of utilizing 50s and 60s and 70s kit. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, and then what they essentially discover is that they observe the fact that a real life town has been cast essentially by Wanda mm, yeah. to create this world. I know, it's so crazy. Isn't it? I found that so. Because it had, it had that wonderful moment where um, Ger Geraldine hooks up with this FBI guy. Yeah. Uh, and they're parked outside the town and they meet mm. the two police officers and they're like, yeah, like this place doesn't exist this place doesn't exist but she gets like sucked into the yeah, yeah, yeah. the place and then we also found out that that's where the um, I think from I think it was episode two when Wanda finds the like red plane or oh, helicopter that's right. that's right found out that that was uh, yeah, so, that's sword right. flying something into there that's right um, so this episode really tells us all those weird eruptions that we had in the first was people episodes from the outside trying to get were in. these moments of yeah. people trying to yeah, get in so exactly. the, the guy with the bees was trying to get in underneath underneath them yeah yeah um, so that was all clever also introduced the character I forget her name from Thor uh, who's like Natalie Portman's friend yeah, in yeah, the yeah, Thor yeah, films yeah. and she's the one that kind of helps them all rip She's the one that kind of syncs it all up and that's makes right. them realise yeah, that yeah. there's a sitcom going on. And yes, everything. that's right. And, and 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 in a sense, this interrupting of the program is it's a really risky moment, I think, in a show that's as I mean, because this is a really bold and brave and adventurous series. Yeah. I think, for some, for, especially for a platform like Disney Plus, to then pull us out of a fictional world that we're getting to terms with, even though, you know, at the edges, it's kind of not consistent and Paul Bettany's sensing it's not right and Elizabeth Olsen's a bit weird and yeah. it's all a bit strange, to then pull us right out of it and essentially explain it, mm. which is what this episode does. This episode kind of at this point, episode four, throws its cards on the table and says, this is what's manifesting here. Yeah. You know, this is a fictional world. This is a world that's that's been constructed. This is, and right at the end, we see a close up, don't we, of Geraldine? Yeah. Uh, saying once again, because we've kind of relived all the events from yeah. the outside of the sitcom, her saying, It's Wanda. Yeah, it's, it's Wanda, Wanda that's doing it, yeah. And you suddenly I got this chilling thing about, yeah. that, about Elizabeth Olsen. Controlling everybody and yeah. everything, yeah. And then we get to episode five, which is the episode that's just landed, uh, on a very special episode. It's called. And I don't know what you felt, Maddie, yeah. but I felt this episode was really emotional. Yeah, no, I thought I found it really Did you emotional get that? as well. Because, like, obviously, ever since the before the even we'd even watched the show, we were just talking about it, yeah. and nobody really. I mean, I didn't for a second think that the reason why the whole world was set up was by Wanda because she wanted to, yeah. like, kind of live with Vision again. And yeah. I just thought, oh, it's people like controlling, or maybe they're both stuck in something. Yeah, I didn't think she trapped. was conscious and that he wasn't. Yeah. Um, but I, yeah, I found it really tragic the whole reasoning. Because they fully that. reveal, don't they? They fully reveal that essentially they they find they show us footage of her finding stealing his Vision, corpse. stealing his corpse. So you have that wonderful moment from the previous episode where it hit mm. uh, Vision's face for a yeah, moment. Yeah, he was dead for a moment because he, he had the dead. missing, he like a corpse the missing a stone and everything. So what she's essentially done is she it is a manifestation of grief. Yeah. And controllability, and I think that there was a particularly powerful scene where. Paul Bettany Vision manages to kind of get in the head. Snap someone out. Yeah, of snap it, yeah. someone out of their sort of almost hypnosis. Yeah. 
to reveal to I him. I thought the guy in that scene was really amazing. Good. He went straight back to just being normal yeah, again. Yeah, his work after, colleague so. essentially saying, "Get me out of here. We're trapped." Because what's I mean, we've said before, but she's essentially she's got this entire population of a small town to yeah, be to cast. Just, yeah. Um, also, I found that bit where they were trying to make the babies fall asleep, and then the woman came in and was like, "Should I start oh, go so from weird. the start again?" And Paul Bettany was like, "What?" what? That was really terrifying. Yeah, so this really is the episode where, where Vision, Paul Bettany's really character, noticing, is yeah. beginning to notice a bit too much. Mm. And at the point that he stops this colleague at work and sort of taps into his brain and finds out that he's actually trapped because of an email coming in, then he basically confronts Wanda. Yeah. And I think that moment for me was the most emotional one because he's screeching with frustration because mm. he's like, I don't know my past, I don't know who mm. I am. She says, you're my husband and you're you're the father of our children. That Isn't that enough? enough? Yeah. And I felt that in that was all of that frustration, not just of death between people, but the death of a relationship. Yeah, yeah. And, and that desire and then, to like, keep it going. The whole bit of her trying to tell her kids to just let go yeah. of the dog the when dog, it died. Dies, but yeah. really she's doing what she's telling them not to yes, do. Yes, yes. Um, but also we got a moment of her actually being in real life as well when she comes out of the Oh my hex. god, what did you think of that? I thought that bit was really cool. It was really cool and her Russian accent came, or yeah, Slavic came back. accent came back for a moment. And then she went back in and it's like ten times more powerful. I know, it's I like know, red exactly, now. and went redder and bigger. It's and I, um, we both think that that guy from Sword is a villain, don't we? We do, I got a Something I a bit sketchy, but well, he really was going to shoot her. Yeah, I've just got a feeling he's just a bit, he's a bit craggy, isn't he? Yeah. He's a bit skaggy. And none of them, no, nobody seems to like him <laughs> but the biggest moment in this episode happens again in the last five minutes where there's a knock at the door are we spoiling huh are we spoiling yeah we're spoiling, we spoiling? everyone else is spoiling everyone on else is spoiling there's a knock at the door and we suddenly get is this being controlled by elizabeth olsen because everything here is her reaction but her reaction, her reaction was, was odd. and she said you think i've done this to yeah because there's a knock at the door and of course then vision now thinks that unless sword have got him in and yeah, I think sort of cast him. I think this now is out of her control. Because he's a superhero, so he would yeah. be going along. Because what happens is basically, knock at the door, it's Pietro, her but brother, yeah. played by... The fast guy in x The fast guy in <laughs> x played by Evan Peters. So one of the mutants from the X-Men, probably the best one really, yeah, yeah, has been best. dragged over. Plopped in, cast by That's sword. really clever because he's he's fast and so he's fast. Brother, and so they're, yeah, yeah, they're both, both got the same score. But but it challenges her, puts her in yeah. a difficult position because he's her brother. But he should be fighting this if she had. So do we think she's controlled it or not? I don't. I don't know. But I don't think she has I so far because her reactions seemed really genuine yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So there's a real and this is a big moment in the MCU. Yeah. To bring in an X Man. Yeah. And him be the X Man, uh, yeah. even though he's been cast in a fictional sitcom in yeah. the imagination of. And is he definitely Scarlet coming in as the character yes. from X Men? Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, so this is finally a mutant. So yeah, I don't is... know if they did it like as a joke because no. he plays a fast guy in X Men. What's he gonna? What's he gonna be like? And of course, what I liked about the way Evan Peters played it was he walked in and he was that classic long lost yeah, brother yeah. in a sitcom. Yeah, Wasn't who's it? this popsicle? Who's then? this popsicle? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just give another shout out? Some of the. Uh, uh, some of the sort of era observations of sitcoms, yeah. so clever, like that yeah. whole opening montage. Yeah, no, the sitcom, the, the whole sitcom one. thing's really believable, it's I think. So it's so clever, just like it's done with such attention to detail, yeah. and you buy into each of them, and we've yeah. lived through sort of four different decades. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautifully executed. I think this is one of the most adventurous, experimental, genuinely surprising, I don't know if you do, mm. series I've seen from a mainstream Yeah, no, I agree. streamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's nice to see like a superhero thing done completely differently. Yeah. Has it sort of surprised you? Yeah, you, definitely. You came into it not the so first sure. I feel like with, with the first episode, we were all a bit like, yeah. what is going on? Yeah. Apart from the dinner scene. <clears throat> but um, it's definitely, yeah, I'm definitely oh. liking it more and more. It's getting better and better. And now it's got one of her favourite actors in it. Evan Peters! Yeah, 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 yeah. For more film and family fun, don't forget to click the subscribe button and make sure to click the bell to never miss an update.